between shared heritage and documentary theater, uh, theater uh, by focusing on uh, this specific play. So the research question is if and how documentary theater as a culture, an artistic and educational site can be a tool to understand, widen and reconstruct collective memory and shared heritage. Uh, the research approach was mainly uh, personal interviews that I conducted. Um, I did focus on six of them, but I conducted much more. And I also analyzed um, uh, audiovisuals interviews from uh, the theater site. It came down to three categories of responses in relationship to heritage. Uh, it was the feeling, the emotional thing, the, the thinking, the cognitive dimension, and the relate, a sense of belonging. Uh, resuscitation and the re-enlightenment of a personal memories and historical events of community heritage and represented and reposition historical events in a cultural heritage. As I mentioned before, I, uh, in recent years, we have witnessed revival of uh, non-European Jews culture of the second and third generation uh, that bring um, their story through different uh, artistic ways. One of this amazing artists who uh, brought the story alive is uh, Mrs. Gilat Itzhaki. Uh, she is a, an actress, a stage manager, a playwright, and the founder of the Multicultural Dawn Theater, or as we say in Hebrew, Hashachal Theater, uh, a documentary theater that um, was founded to create a theatrical experience which deals with culture and heritage of uh, Arab uh, Jewish communities that immigrated to Israel. Uh, the Dawn Theater was born um, out of a desire to know the, the life stories of Jews uh, from Arab countries and become acquainted with the unique culture and the stories that were forgotten and not told. Uh, Mrs. Itzhaki wrote the play Father's Daughters that uh, won prizes for artistic and professional achievement. And on a more personal note, I must say that it is a really excited, exciting for me because um, it's like a closure since I'm also just like Bilit, uh, a daughter of Iraqi immigrants. The play touched me deeply when I watched it and I have learned a lot from it. Um, I learned a lot about uh, my family history and about history events that had to do with the, that time and it was an overwhelming experience for me. And uh, the, the most important that it was really touching for me to see the story of my parents, my family history on stage. So let's begin. Hi, uh, Galit, thank you for joining us. Uh, well, first, th thank you for uh, inviting me for your uh, meeting. I finished acting school in 1994 uh, and, and I noticed that most of the characters that I were uh, playing were uh, a European uh, characters and the play were also all European or American and the characters that I play uh, was very far from what uh, my house, for my myself, for my culture, uh, from who I am. I put it, I didn't do this at the time, nothing, I was only a, a student. A few years uh, afterward, uh, my parents uh, uh, were passed away and that made me feel something is missing. All, all my childhood and when I was young, my parents, of course, and my aunts and all the big family, uh, were telling us uh, stories, the children, about uh, Iraq and uh, and how they came into Israel and how it was gender dangerous. But uh, their story were for me very far because uh, because we born here in in Israel and I wanted to be an Israeli. I didn't want to hear uh, the Arab uh, language of my parents and their story for me were not important because I didn't learn about it at school. Uh, because at school, I, I learned all, only the history of European Jewish and of course the Holocaust. 
that was a big uh, shadow here. The Jews that came from, uh, from the Arabs country, they felt lucky because for them, they came with all their family to, to Israel. After my parents passed away, I missed everything. I started to miss everything and there is not, nothing uh, that I can go, no place that I can go and that I can get this culture again. And so I, I, I decided to write a play. Another thing is the Arab language, that we were very shamed with this language because for us it was the language of the enemy. Uh, but it, it's all, but it, is, it is also my language or my parents' language, but in Israel it, it was the, the enemy language, so it's better not to speak it <laughs> or even uh, not to say that you understand the language. And, and for me and for my brother, it was until we were 40 years old, we realized that we have a language that we understand and we can speak a language that that we don't admit that we, for our, even for ourselves, that we know it. I tried to go to theater in Israel and to give the play. They just told me uh, this play is sectorial uh, play. It's not for everybody. Uh, I decided that I will uh, I will put this play on on the stage. Uh, I don't know how, but I did it. Yeah, the action of the audience was uh, really touched. They can see they can see the history of of their parents or grandfather and grandmother and go back home and talk with them about it. For me, as an acting actor, uh, when I go on the stage, I play uh, I play my family and uh, and and many people that in the audience they say we can be on the stage together with you, because it's our family, it's our story, it's our dis uh, uh, discussion in the, at the house, the same way we talk, with the same uh, humor. And, and many people say that they're not from Iraq, uh, say, well, it, it's my story, it's the family of my story, but we came from uh, Russia. <laughs> So uh, yeah, it, that's what I say. It's a uh, it's human relation in the, uh, between people and relationship of family, and it's all the same. Uh, just the place that they came from is is uh, on the globe is different. Today I'm I'm really uh, uh, I think uh, Israel is making uh, progress progress. To be to to an open mind for 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 it and uh, and uh, I hope uh, it stay like this. It's go like this. We will develop it. Well, thank you so much.